Hi, now you will see a difficult question. It is not so easy. But these kind of questions can be asked in gate. Okay. So don't write the notes. Lecture notes are given in the uh, description. And please watch my video at 2x speed. And if you like the video and if possible, like it. Okay. Only if it is not taking a lot of effort. If it is not taking a lot of your time, like it. And please share it and subscribe to the channel. Please let the channel grow, help the channel grow. Okay. So we will see the question now. We will start. So sigma equal to 0, 1. And the language is starting with 1, 1 and ending with 1, 1. That is the language. Starting and ending with 1, 1. So it is pretty easy to write the regular expression. So starting should be 1, 1 and then followed by anything and ending should be 1, 1. Right. Now there is a problem. The smallest string it would generate is 1, 1, 1, 1. But if you look at the question, starting with 1, 1, ending with 1, 1, even 1, 1, the string 1, 1 has to be there because it is starting with 1, 1 and ending with 1, 1. And also the string 1, 1, 1 should be there. It is starting with 1, 1 and ending with 1, 1. Ending with 1, 1. Right. So directly drawing a NFA will be difficult for this question. So let's do the DFA and then convert it into NFA. Okay. So 1, 1 has to be accepted. Right. So 1, 1 has to be accepted. And if this string is starting with 0, I will kill it because it is not starting with 1, 1. String is starting with 0, I will kill it. If this string is starting with 1, 0, I will kill it because it is not starting with 1, 1. Right. This part is clear, right? Now, once we have reached this state, what is the meaning of it? This string is starting with 1, 1. Right. So it has passed the test. This string is starting with 1, 1. So from here, never come back. If you come back, there is a chance that you will get to dead state. It is already starting with 1, 1. And it, it may or may not end with 1, 1. So you have to be hopeful that it may end with 1, 1. So with that hope, we should not kill. We should go to the other states. Okay. Now after seeing a 1, 1, I can get any number of 1s. They all will be starting and ending with 1, 1. Isn't it? If I only get all 1s, they will be starting and ending with 1, 1. Now, how did I reach this state? By seeing a 1, 1. If I see a 0, I have to see a 1, 1. So, you will be tempted to make this mistake. You may think that I will go back on 0. <coughs> and I will wait for a 1, 1. Right? This is wrong. The reason is, if you come here, there are chances that you may get into trap state. Right? So, if you get... 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 which is in the language will not be accepted therefore don't do that don't go to the other state okay <clears throat> so what should you do instead is go to create a new state see while designing Minimal NFA, minimal DFA or minimal NFA, whatever it is, add states only when they are absolutely required or absolutely necessary. Don't add states if they are not required. Okay. So here it is required. So I'm adding one more state. On zero, I will go and wait there. Any number of zeros, I will be waiting there for a one one. Now, what should I do on getting 1, 1? Again, you may get tempted that I will go like this and I will get 1, 1 and I accept it. Again, this is wrong. The reason is there is a chance that you may go to trap state. Right? For example, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, which is in, this, in the language which will not be accepted. So, don't go back. 
once you pass the test don't go back into trap states again okay so so now what should i do so again i need a state therefore on a one i will go to a state and if i get one more one i will accept it right now see this one one followed by zero any number of zeros followed by one one i am accepting it one one followed by any number of ones followed by the number of zeros i am accepting it i am accepting it so this is not a dfa you should say what happens if you get a zero here if you get a zero here again wait for one one if you get a zero here you have to wait for one one right so we have we have complete all the states just see whether it is dfa or not on zero one on zero one this has on zero one this has on zero where is one yeah one zero one this has zero one so it is a dfa you can generate any kind of string starting with one one and ending with one one you can test it okay so one one followed by a one any number of ones followed by any number of zeros followed by a one followed by any number of zeros followed by one any number of zeros finally one one if i get i'm going to accept it so it is going to cover everything right so this is the minimal dfa this question is not very easy to answer there are no formulas for it you need to design so if they give you this question in the exam it will take one two minutes to design it okay but then it is a important question so so what i mean to say is here in the case of dfa we have one two three four five six six states and in the case of nfa we have five states in the case of nfa we have five states in the case of dfa we have six states okay so we will see more models so now we will see a new question so sigma equal to 0 comma 1 so language starting with 1 0 ending with 0 1 okay so starting two symbols must be one zero and ending two symbols must be zero one right right so starting will be one zero and then it will be zero one star zero one one zero zero one star zero one kapati rochana problem but there is a small problem here okay so the problem here is the problem here is the minimal string generated is 1001 0, 0, 1. but then in our language the minimal string is 101 1. why it is starting with 10 ending with 01 okay so drawing nfa directly for this question is going to be difficult let's do dfa minimal dfa and then convert to minimal nfa okay so so i have to accept 101 1, 1 0 1 i have to accept it okay if it the string is starting with 0 kill it if the string is starting with 0 we will kill it if the string is starting with 10 we will kill it sorry 11 one, one, right so the string is starting with 11 one, one, we will kill it if the string is starting with 10 then only there we have to push it to the other side where final state is present right so from here onwards from here onwards sorry not from here so here these two states are going to trap state so don't come back you should not come back into these two states this state and this state the reason is if you come there then it will be killed see already if you have passed one zero 
already if you have seen one zero and if you have reached this state it is already starting with one zero you don't have to kill it there is a chance that it may end with one zero one there is hope so don't kill it don't kill it okay okay hmm now now starting with one zero is done okay so this state is done this state is done this state is done for this state we have to say what happens on zero right so after one zero any number of zeros may come after that a one may come it will still be ending with zero one so i will accept it okay so this state is also complete now we are talking about this state now how did we reach this state by seeing one zero one right now if i see a zero if i see a zero I have to just see a one, then it will end with one zero. Therefore, I will go back. If I see a zero, I have to just see a one. Therefore, I am going back. Therefore, I am going back. Okay, fine. Now what happens on one? How did we reach it? We are reached it by seeing one zero one. Now if I see a one, I have to see entirely zero one again. I have to see entirely zero one again. Now you may think that you may think that on seeing a one, I'll go back here. On seeing a one, I will go back here, and then I will see zero one and I accept it. But that is a wrong step. Why? Because the string is already starting with one zero. We should never kill it. But if you are again coming back, there is a chance that you go to dead state and kill it, right? For example, I'll give an example. See this: one zero one followed by a one, followed by a one. So followed by one, followed by one, and then zero one. You are going to kill this. So it should not happen, right? So that is why we should not go back. So unless it is required, don't create a. So never create a new state while doing a minimal DFA unless it is required. In this case, it is required, right? So what should I do? If I get one, I will go to the other state and I will wait there on getting any number of ones, any number of ones. So if I get a zero one, I have to accept it, right? So if I get a zero one, so if I get a if I get a zero one, then I'm going to accept it, right? So this is the DFA. You can check it for all states. We have discussed about what happens on zero and what happens on one. So this is not an easy question. If you are not able to do it for the first time, that is fine. With practice, you will be able to do it. We will solve a lot of difficult questions also. Okay, so so you will get proficient. Don't worry. Okay. um yeah anything else i think that's it i think that's it right so we are given the regular expression we are given given the dfa now how many states are there in minimal dfa in this question 1 2 3 4 5 five states right there is no formula for these kind of questions okay and how many states are there in nfa 1 2 3 4 5 6 right Here six DFA is six and FA is five because we will remove this. That is why we get five states, right? Right. So that is all. So we will see uh, some more questions of of this type. If you want to take my gate classes, we go to the website ravindrababuraola dot in, and you are going to see all my gate classes available there. Okay. So coming to the classes, they are all recorded. why am i doing recorded why am i not doing live classes is i have thousands of students registering for my courses every year but then if i conduct a live class only 20 or 30 people will be there 20 or 30 that's it maximum is 40 i had the reason is live classes are little bit wasting your time see you cannot watch a live class at 2x speed you have to watch at the pace at which i teach generally i will be very very slow while teaching so if you can go through the live classes you can watch them at 2x speed and you can complete the syllabus very fast 400 plus hours content is there for gate 
and if you are going to watch them at normal pace it will take 400 hours but if you watch it at 2x speed it will take just 200 hours right so if you want any of my gate classes gate computer science or gate da the price is just 10000 rupees it is very very reasonable for the kind of quality we provide we have test series we have doubt sessions we have videos we have lecture notes for every even you don't have to write any lecture notes i will provide you lecture notes for every subject you just have to sit back watch the videos at 2x speed and revise the notes short notes will be provided long notes will be provided formulas will be written in a separate notes everything will be there provided to you you don't have to work hard and coming to if you are planning to go abroad we also have study abroad program you can go through my number my number is on whatsapp my whatsapp number is in the website if you are planning to do masters abroad that is a very good choice it is better than doing masters in india so if you are planning to go abroad we will help you out right from the from taking the passport to getting the visa visa us visa right so we will help you out in the entire process okay so do visit the website see what is happening there even dsa course is there for 5000 rupees which is both in python and c++ okay so thank you so much